Greetings and salutations, Groovy Rats fam, and allow me to take you on a journey to the 2nd of December 2023, where I unfortunately had a severe accident in the famous Mahubas Kloof Mountain. A crowd gathered as they gazed over my seemingly lifeless body. My body had propelled itself over a hundred meters beyond the safety railings. It's a miracle that I'm even able to relay the story to you right now. So I do hope that beyond just being entertainment, I hope this video will be educational for you as well as for myself. Well, there's been a horror crash. So, unfortunately, we have run out of petrol. Ah! And some petrol. Excuse me while I pass through here. At this point, I should have just proceeded straight towards Total Zanin so I can fill up and replenish my energy. But clearly, that really wasn't the plan for the day. I look back at this little reverse U turn maneuver right here with complete frustration because I know that if I had proceeded straight, I probably would have a, a normal arm right now. But nonetheless, we proceeded straight, raced to catch up with some of the guys. As you can see, some of them had actually leaving me left me behind. That should have been another side. But no, we decided to try and catch, chase and catch them. And then we enjoyed the ride up. It was a beautiful ride though. I enjoyed everything about it. Huck? I don't know how Groovy is riding this bike as if it has a, a tank full of fuel and he has a stomach full of food and he has a full night of rest but when he's riding, he's pushing I guess that's the type of riding that I'm going to be doing from now on even crazier <laughs> Stay tuned Groovy Rats fam Now we're in pursuit of Mr. RR, Mr. Mishati, Mr. Alki himself. The man who hiked down a mountain to save me. The man who pulled me out of a mountain that was supposed to be my demise. Mr. Mishati. I remember at some point when I was laying in that mountain, I looked up towards the sky and the only thing I saw was him, Mr. Mashati, and his leg or his foot was jabbed into my right side of my body and he was literally pushing against my broken bone. And I understand now that if he hadn't done that, I would have rolled even further and further down that mountain, eventually rolling to a point where it would have been almost impossible for anyone to save me. This next bit of braking is actually the most fun and the most I actually even tried to ride my bike on that day.
this point I was just laughing because I realized that the pace that these guys were going was a pace that I'm completely comfortable with. And I was just enjoying the ride up that little mountain. Wait, 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 let's analyze this a bit. So at this point you can tell that I'm actually falling behind. My pace is actually slower than the guys in front of me. Whether that's intentional or not, that's an argument for another day. But you can tell that I'm actually literally falling behind. Even further and further as the, the corner, the winding corner goes. At this point you can see that I'm actually looking through the corner. But I'm not leaning, I'm not initiating, I'm not counter steering. All I'm doing is just I'm looking through the corner. And you can see the bike is actually turning a bit because I'm going over the yellow line. But then the speed is reducing. Which means at this point I'm, I, I might be in a state of panic. And then now the bike starts drifting out wide. Which could have easily been solved with me just leaning off the bike. And I would have made that corner quite easily. As I have on multiple other occasions. And the helmet flew a few meters away from my body. So the location of my helmet, which is what you can see in this, in this video, in my head is actually two, two different positions. Are you okay? I'd like to thank every single member of my family that was there for me and I'd like to thank us send a special thank you to my immediate family that managed to come out on the very same day that I had the accident and they were there throughout my hospitalization as well as my discharge. I'd like to thank all the sacrifices they made and I'm sorry for putting them through this because I can imagine that this was a very traumatic experience for them as well. And I'd also like to thank every other biker that was there to support whether it was emotionally, financially or even physically. I'd like to thank Teddy for also providing shelter. Thank you, thank you, thank you biker brothers. All the guys you see in this clip right here, Teddy, Gulova, Arshad, Eddie, Mr. RS1250, T-Man, and countless other bikers came out in numbers to support me throughout my hospitalization, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you to the biking community at large. Wait, 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 I just remembered, I just recalled, Mr. Eddie Bay didn't come out. He did not come out. He only came to my residential area, but he didn't come to the hospital. Eddie Bay! So no woman, that's all. What was Toro Selagamukuni? No must all. Asafi, come on, relax. He's coming up. He's still there. And no way for much so, it's a left. Teddy, it's a male. It rounds around the air. So no trouble. Mana? Mana que rei.
Yeah.